Hey there, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a very honest review of the Shark hair dryer with the attachments or some of the attachments. Uh, this is like the dupe for the Dyson Airwrap. It is a little bit cheaper than Dyson Airwrap. I'll pop the price here of the bundle that I got and I ordered it directly from the Shark website and it took about five weeks for it to get here. This is not a first impressions video. I know I've done other first impressions videos in the past of hair tools, but with this one, I wanted to make sure I gave it enough time and I actually learned how to use it because I feel like one of the criticisms of some of my other hair videos was that I wasn't taking the time to learn how to use the tool before I just like commented on it. So I have had this for about two months and I have used it. I have used all the attachments. Like you can see my hair literally wrapped up in the attachments. So I feel like, I can now give an honest review. I'm also going to timestamp the video because I'm sure it's going to be very long and you can just jump to the portion that you want to watch. But I wanted to give you just my initial thoughts before I go into the demo. To cut straight to the chase, do I regret buying it? No. When it breaks, would I buy it again? No. I don't think it's like super life changing and I'll tell you why I don't feel like it's super life changing and it may be the way that I use it or the purpose that I use it for and maybe it's different for you but for this price point I just don't feel like it's super duper amazing you know what I mean like it's good but it's not super duper amazing so one thing I really do like about the shark is that I feel like I can style my hair so the curlers while my hair is wet. So like I've just jumped out of the shower, my hair is wet. And so normally I would blow dry my hair. So like heat damage once. And then once it's dried, I would curl my hair before I go out if I wanted that look. So that's twice the heat damage versus I'm able to go from wet hair to like a curled look with just one time heat damage. And so I do feel like it is damaging my hair less than how I was traditionally doing my hair, which was blow drying and then curling it on like two separate occasions versus this is like all at once. It is also super convenient to just have the tool with the attachments and it's easy to bring this places instead of having to bring a hair dryer and a curler like having separate tools. So the convenience is really nice and it does get pretty hot for hair drying. Like I feel like this dries my hair faster than any of the hair dryers I own. Granted, I don't own any that are like very expensive, but I am quite happy with this hair drying function. The reason why I don't feel like it's the most amazing thing in the world is because um, I have quite long hair and the curlers is what I use most often and they're just not quite long enough or thick enough and I'm going to comment more on this when I am actually doing it. I'll actually show you what my gripes are but I do wish these were a little bit different and I don't think they get as hot as I would like. Like for some reason when I blow dry my hair, I feel like it's super hot. When I have the attachments on, I just feel like in order to curl my hair, the temperature actually needs to be higher. And so this might work better for your hair type, but for my hair type, in order for it to hold the curl, it just needs to be a little bit hotter. And so I don't feel like my curls last as long when I use this versus like a traditional hair curler. And then the other two attachments I got were these. So this is for blow drying, which sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't like, it's fine, it does what it's supposed to do. The round brush, I feel like it also does what it's like supposed to do. For me, what I was really hoping for is like I've seen these girls out there that do like, you know, when you have, um, you kind of twirl your hair in it and you pull it down and it kind of just leaves like a nice blown out look. My hair type just doesn't lend itself to that kind of style. Like it just needs more heat, more power. It just, it just like continues to dry straight. My hair naturally dries straight. And so the round brush doesn't do a whole lot for me. Um, again, I, that might just be my hair type and you might have a different experience. One other thing I like about it is that the cord for it is very long. Like your outlet can be so far away from you. And I really like that. And the cord is swivel, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, the one other thing I wanna mention is like maybe I'm old, but it's loud. And so I I actually normally wear earplugs when I use it. I don't normally wear earplugs when I use it if I'm just like quickly blow drying my hair. But if I'm doing my hair with a brush or with the curlers, I wear earplugs because you, you're kind of holding it close to your ear and it's like a significant amount of time, like probably like 15 minutes. And with a sound meter, this actually measures over a hundred decibels 
which is literally damaging to your ears. So I literally keep foam earplugs in the bathroom for this. So anyway, getting into the demo, I am not actually going to be using the round brush for you today because like I said, it doesn't really do anything for me. So I think it's going to be a waste of time. So I'm really going to show you how I achieve like my curls. Um, and so it's really easy to remove stuff from here. You just push the unlock button and it just comes off and it literally just clicks into place. It's so convenient and I love that it has this feature where you can just turn it to be like this. You just have a power button and this is I think the heat and then the fan speed and then this is the cooling shot. I basically just leave this always at three, always at three, always max. And so what I do is I will blow dry my hair to about 90% of the way dry. And I honestly, I don't even use heat protectant. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't feel like my curls hold as well if I use it. So I'm just gonna skip it. I'm just gonna speed this up, but you can kind of hear what it sounded like. It's not as loud on the video as it is in real life because my mic normalizes the sound so it wouldn't let it be super loud. But anyway, one thing I do like about this is that my hair is so long and it usually gets caught sometimes on the back of a hair dryer, but with this one, it never does. Okay, so I lied. It only took me literally one minute. I'm looking at my camera. It took me literally one minute to get my hair 90% of the way dry. So if all the way dry, it probably would only take like two minutes. That's probably why I never wear ear protection when I am just blow drying my hair. But you saw how quick that was. Um, and my hair, like this is normally how it dries with a regular blow dryer. So uh, yeah, my hair is quite long. So I'm just getting ready to switch the attachment. This part does get a little bit warm, but honestly not too bad, like you're not gonna burn yourself. Um, so no big deal. These curlers do come with left and right markings. So I use the left one for the left side of my head, right one for the right side of my head. So I don't really have a preference as to which one I start with. I usually just grab one and go. But like I said, it clicks in super easy and we're ready to go. So before I get into the demo, I'm just gonna show you what I will be doing. So I'm gonna be turning it on, you know, keeping it on three and three, so maximum. I will be wrapping my hair, I'll be holding it. And then when it's fully dry, I will do the cold shot. Like I'll hold this button, do the cold shot, and then turn it off and remove it. And I will voice over with like what I like and don't like about this particular part. Okay, so I'll do these first two sections in real time and then I'll just kind of cut or fast forward through the rest of the side of the head so you're not sitting through like the whole thing. But the first thing I want to say is that the shark does not handle as thick of hair sections as like a traditional hair curler would. So I feel like on one side of my head, I generally go through like eight or more sections to finish one side of my head versus my hair curler, I'm usually able to get away with like four or five. And so it doesn't quite take twice as long to do this versus a hair iron, even though it's twice as many sections because you are just trying to dry the last 10% here. So you're not trying to like heat up your hair super hot. And you'll see me touch the barrels. You know, like I said, it is less hot than a, a traditional hair curler. I curl my hair at 450 usually. And so I would never be able to touch my hair like this with a curling iron. The other thing is you'll see that the ends wrap first, which this function works really well, but the curl is like unevenly tight between like the end and the upper parts of my hair. I just feel like the ends are super curled and you'll see this later when it starts falling down it'll become pretty obvious later but yeah with the number of sections it just takes some practice to know how to use this efficiently you're always picking it up setting it down the cool shot is in the middle of the barrel the power toggle is on the bottom of the barrel and so it did take me quite a bit of time to get used to how to use this efficiently Okay, so this took about six minutes to do this side of my head. And for me, I'm a night shower. So I usually will like do this at night if I want to like look nice the next day. And so what I'm really going for is just like loose waves. Like I would never just like leave it like this even after I brush it out. But anyway, I hope my commentary during the process was good. I'm just going to go ahead and do this other side super quick. So here I am just clicking the old barrel out and putting the new one in. It's really easy to switch. Let me just say some things I do like about the shark is that because 
the barrels don't heat up as hot as like a traditional hair curler when you're switching your barrels when you're working with it there really is no downtime like nothing is ever too hot to the touch which is nice and when you're done styling your hair you can immediately like unplug it put it back in your cabinet in your drawer instead of like a traditional hair curler where you have to like leave it on your counter for some time so it can cool down before you can touch it and then you forget to put it away stuff like that so you can keep your counter clean which i love it does produce curls that are different than a hair iron personally for me, but I do like the end product. I feel like because it forces me to do it in more sections, I get way more volume out of this than a traditional hair iron. Okay, so that other side took six minutes as well. So with like, just, you know, normally when I do my hair, it probably takes me about 15 minutes to do it. And with a traditional hair curler, let me just show you which one I have. Um, I have this one with the extended barrel and this one just gives me curls kind of like higher up on my head because this barrel is just not as long and it can also handle wider pieces. Like I said, my commentary. Anyway, I'm not going to go too far into that because I feel like I already talked a lot in my voiceover, but I'm just going to give this a second to set before I like, you know, brush it out. Okay. So how I brush it out is I literally just do that. <laughs> um, it does fall kind of throughout the day, but right away it looks really nice and full. Um, actually, you know what, maybe I'll come back tomorrow and kind of show you what it looks like after I sleep on it, but it is about 5.30 p.m. right now, and this is what that looks like. I feel like I might have missed a couple strands, but anyway, I do like how it looks. It is just like more natural. It's not, you know, it's not like super tight ringlets like it was when I started and I don't usually put any like hairspray or anything in it so and here is a close-up of what those curls kind of look like I feel like depending on how you want to style it from here you can have it more or less defined more or less messy but for me I like to like I said curl my hair in the evening then I just like wear it the next day so I will be back tomorrow to show you what this looks like after I sleep on it but yeah. Okay. So before I check in for the morning, I wanted to check in before I went to bed because this is, this is like the look I like, like it's fallen a bit. It's been five hours since I've done my hair. I haven't gotten anywhere. I've just like been sitting around home, obviously, because I still have my robe on, but this is like the look that I like because it's just like relaxed, you know, it's not as voluminous as before. And yeah. Okay. Now for real, I'm going to check in after I wake up. Good morning. It's been about 15, 16 hours since I've done my hair. I just woke up and I don't brush it or anything like that. I just leave it and this is how it looks. So as you can see, it definitely falls down the longer you wear it, but the ends stay really curled because of the way that the wand curls at like the bottom of your hair always gets the most curled and it stays the most curled. But I still think this is cute. Like I would definitely wear this out and it kind of just looks like, you know, you didn't try very hard. And maybe my hair is naturally like this. So yeah, I generally don't go more than a day. If I go more than a day, it doesn't, it just continues to fall, right? It continues to look more and more straight. So I hope this video was helpful. If you are on the fence about buying the shark, like I said, I definitely don't regret getting it. I think the biggest benefit is just being able to style my hair with one session of heat damage instead of two sessions of heat damage, but it definitely produces a different curl style and a different look than a traditional like hair wand would especially if you like your curls going higher or if you like controlling how curly your top is versus your bottom because you can't control the amount of curl at different places with something like the shark or like the dyson hair wrap it kind of just is what it is so i think if you know if your hairstyle is the same as mine i think this is going to be very accurate if your style is a little bit thinner and easier to style it might actually be better for you but yeah, drop any questions you have below. I hope I have covered everything, but I'm happy to answer anything additional. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.